This year of our, the Commission, the Parliament has been scrutinizing the different exceptional rules put in place by many member states during this crisis. And they all have in common that they have frozen for a short period some of our fundamental rights and liberties, one of them being the essence of this European Union, freedom of movement. But one government and only one in Hungary has framed its urgency state with no sunset clause. Today, in Hungary, the government has extensive powers with no clear definition and for an indefinite time. Let's not be mistaken. This has no necessity efficiency-wise, this has no sanitary basis, and this is turning the back to democracy. We all know what has happened in Hungary for 10 years, even more this last year and even more these last weeks. We are fully documented. Files are piling up in, on your desk, on my desk as a rapporteur, on the desk of many people in this parliament, of civil servants, in each of our institutions, in permanent representations. They are all aware. Time of awareness has gone. We have our eyes wide open. We know about the attacks against freedom of media. We know the continuous judicial reform. We know the disc discriminatory measures. We know that today in Hungary you can have five years of imprisonment because the government considers you have said fake news. We all know that yesterday one man was taken into custody for an opinion he posted on Facebook. Freedom of thinking is under threat now in Hungary. We know that it is easier to live in Hungary if you are male, if you're white, and if you question. Why then does your legal services in commission feel, guess, that there is no legal ground for infringement? Why then do member states make a very clear statement without spelling out loudly the name we are talking about? They are gradual very clear rules that can help us for resolution of these solutions. Under Article 7, these tools exist. Why are we not using them enough? We want Hungarian citizens to stay European citizens, but we do not want them to be second-rate citizens with not exactly the same rights as the other European citizens.